Hey everybody, it's Kelly from Ready Set Drone, and I've been asked a few times if the Mavic flies well indoors. Well, I haven't had a chance to try it until today, so we're gonna give it a shot and see how it does in the house. So I went ahead and, uh, I went ahead and plugged in the Mavic and uh, powered it up. I also um, uh, plugged in my phone you can see here on the control, it says Opti mode, which is, uh, means it is using the optical sensors and not the GPS. Uh, it, there's even a little spot up in the upper uh, left where normally you'd get your GPS signal. Now it says Opti, which means that there's no GPS signal because we're indoors. Um, but when I plugged everything in, of course, it told me I had to do a firmware update. So now it is currently updating the firmware. It is at 18%. So I'm going to let it finish updating the firmware and then I'm just going to take it for a little spin around inside the house. Um, I'm pretty confident it'll hover very well. I just want to see if I can fly it in a pretty straight line using the optical sensor. Would be interesting if you were shooting something indoors and wanted to use it as a dolly. So uh, I'm going to see how it does and then also try out tripod mode and see how it does with that. Okay, so what's interesting here is um, I did my update and uh, new firmware. So that was good. Um, However, while uh, after it updated, I, everything reset, and now you can see it actually has GPS. It doesn't say OptiMode anymore. So one great thing that I was told that uh, if you're going to fly indoors, you want to make sure that you disable the return to home feature uh, if it loses signal with the controller, because you don't want it flying up to 60 feet and running into your ceiling and crashing and burning. Okay, the way you do that is you click on this menu up here, click on this, and go into your uh, advanced settings, which you can see here I'm in, and instead of remote control signal lost, uh, return to home, put it on hover, and then that way if it does uh, lose signal, it will return, uh, it won't return to home, it will just hover. So interestingly, now it does have a GPS signal. It's been sitting in the same place on my floor for a while. Uh, gonna go ahead and start the camera, and it's recording. So I'm um, going to see how it does it with this combination of GPS and sensors. So it's already sensing an obstacle, which is my wall. I'll bring it over here and let it hover. See it hovering there. Pretty solid. I'm going to try flying it in a straight line through the room towards that door over there. And that's as far as I can get because it, uh, it's sensing the obstacle. Let's try it one more time. Of course, if you're flying backwards, it can't sense the obstacle because there's no cameras there, but... There it goes in a straight line. Once again, it's seeing the wall over there, and so it's stopping. Turn it back around, fly it this way. There we go. And you can see it's seemed to switch a couple of times between uh, GPS and vision mode, uh, opti mode.
Okay, so I would assume that if you're uh, going to fly it indoors, you're going to want to disable the obstacle avoidance because if it's a small space like this, uh, all you're going to get is lots of beeping and angry, uh, angry stopping that's going on. So the one other thing I wanted to try was going into tripod mode. So we'll go up here. Actually, I think that's where I want to be. Put it in tripod mode. Aircraft not take off. Take off and retry. Okay, so it looks like you have to fly, put it in the air before you put it in tripod mode. So I'm going to roll video again. It's recording. Let's spin it around. I'm going to put it in uh, tripod mode. It says flight speed and control sensitivity will be substantially reduced for fine control. Great. All right, so now we're in tripod mode. That is my yaw. That's full speed yaw in tripod mode. It's uh, seeing lots of obstacles. Now I'm just going to let it sit still for a moment. And it's, um, I'll pick it up just a little bit more. Put the camera down just a bit. I'm just going to let it sit there for a second. And it's in tripod mode. You can see it's just hanging up there in the air. It's uh, not moving at all. It is very, very steady. Now I'm going to try flying it forward in tripod mode and see how that does. And it is very slow. Well, actually, it's uh, a little faster than I expected. The yaw is much slower. One more time going the other way. Put the camera up a little bit. Boy, it is just nice and smooth. And that's as far as it's going to go because it sees the wall. So I guess what you get out of that is you can fly indoors. It does seem to switch between optical and GPS mode. Um, probably in a metal roofed house or more of a multi-story building, it might not be as uh, easy for it to get GPS signal, but, um, but it does kind of switch back and forth seamlessly. Uh, it's very stable, particularly in tripod mode. It's pretty loud, so if you're shooting with any sound, uh, you know, you're gonna have to deal with that buzzing noise. But uh, overall, pretty cool. Um, if you were doing a real estate video and could fly it indoors, uh, especially if it's a big open space without any furniture, you could probably do pretty well. I imagine you can turn off the obstacle avoidance. I didn't because I didn't want to hit anything. Uh, found it very helpful and reassuring that I have it. But there you go, flying the, the DJI Mavic indoors. Uh, tons of fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe to Ready Set Drone, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.